Did you see that? <laughs> we laughed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <My goodness. laughs> you, oh, I can't see it now that we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> <you ain't> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, everybody. No, I was saying that we should boycott not only the emojis, because ain't no black emojis. We should also boycott the hurricanes. We should boycott the hurricanes? How do we boycott a hurricane? Because they, know, they don't never name them after no black people. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they got her, made a point. Jose and Irma. Yeah. I never heard. What's, what's after? So we got Jose, Katrina. Irma. Uh, no, Katya or something like that. So what's after the L? The L hurricane needs to be named LaShonda. LaShonda? No. No, it's yeah. going to be a boy, isn't it? It's going to be a boy? Because you need a girl, boy, boy. girl, boy. Because mm -hmm. Jose, well, Jose is J. And then Irma. And then, no, no, I, Harvey. IJ. Harvey, Irma, Jose, Katya, then L. Yeah, so it's going to be a boy. L. L needs to be... Laquan Delicious. No, it's got to be a boy. <laughs> That's a boy name. No, that yeah, is not. Laquan Delicious. Yeah. No. Laquan Delicious He's Jenkins. going to be all the way gay. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> no. What up, man? What you up, Vincent? You're going to give him, just give it, like, you're going to make the boy gay. Oh, no, no, Laquan no, Delicious. No. <laughs> you know. No. Don't do that. Laron. <laughs> we ain't going to make the hurricane Lerone. gay. <laughs> It might not hurt as many people. <laughs> it's so <old> gentle hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we just in here tripping for right now. Alright, so we got our uh, third party to just arrive in the room. <laughs> And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We got theme music to play. Hey. What? Whoever's watching now, like the video, share the video, please, 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 please. Man, Coco was in here ready to get in here. Hurricane Coco been in this motherfucker. Yeah. People sorry though. Hey, baby. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey. Yes, it is that boy. time, y'all. It is that time. If you're watching, please like and share the video. Please like and share the video. Hey, y'all. Hey. Um, and if Duffy is on here, Duffy, I'm sorry. I can't find the topic that you gave me. I've looked for it, but I can't find it. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. In the flood. Yeah. In the thunder and rainstorm. Alright, um. Uh, here we go. Uh. 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 Mm. Mm. We've been tripping all day. I just want y'all to know that. It didn't just start now. Hey, man, that Oh, oh my goodness. Hey Kelly. What's up, Kelly? Hey Tim, you, I see you. What up, you up Tim? Uh. Oh, hey, you Alright, what we need everybody to do that's watching now, like and share the video. Like, like and, share. and share the video, please. We're trying to grow our audience, we're trying to get bigger. You know, we want people to know we out here doing this thing. Uh, Alright. I am your co-host Chuck Beard and welcome to the It's About Time show. Um, I have my illustrious co-host, the queen to my right, Miss Nicole is in the building. Then we got the noble himself, uh, the candy man, my square, Anton Birch is in the building. Party people, I'm in love with the cocoa. Come on, uh, cocoa. 
I'm in love with the cocoa. All right, so all that being said, um, thank you for watching the show. And before we get started today, I just want to take the time to, um, I'm going to cut the music down on this. One of our faithful listeners, watchers, uh, what you want to, whatever you want to say, Charles Rosenthal. Uh, he lives in the Tampa area. Oh, they get So, man, yeah. you Is know, he still there? he's yeah. still there. He he stayed, um, and I talked to him. Like he said a few hours ago, he was cool. But you know, I want everybody that's listening, watching. You know, y'all pray for Charlie. That's that's the homie. That's one of my oldest friends. Uh, he and his two kids are still down there. So, um, you know, send good thoughts, send prayers, whatever you can, because, um, you know, Irma is hitting Tampa as we speak, from yes. what I understand. Yes, so, it is. you know, um, Charlie, we with you. Uh, hopefully you're able to watch the show, and, you know, hopefully you're able to see this. If not, man, just know our heart goes out to you, man, for real. Um, all right, all that being said, if you've never watched the show before, never seen the show, my segment is called What the Fuck Chuck, right? Where I just find some crazy stuff on the internet and um, I got to talk about it. I got to tell y'all about it because it's stuff that pops up in my timeline all the time, right? All right, I got two things today. <laughs> two things. One of them really pissed me off. So I'm going to start with the one that pissed me off. Okay. Actually, both of them kind of pissed me off. But the first one really pissed me off. Y'all remember Danielle Bregoli? No. no. Danielle Bregoli. That the name should ring. It, yeah. The name may not ring a bell, but when I say catch me outside. Uh -huh. Yeah, Catch me outside. To know what her yeah, name is. that that's her name, Danielle Bregoli. And the problem that I got is, all right, number one, she is who she is. You know, I shouldn't, you know, and I'm not hating on her. It's just like I know disrespect when I see disrespect, right? And she was really disrespectful when I saw the show. However, now, because of her disrespectful, irrational, illogical, stupid-ass behavior, she has been given a record deal. And she has a video. What did you expect, cuz? Man, not that. I mean, like... Wait a minute, 45? Uh, and you didn't expect that? No, I really... I mean, like, okay, I know hip-hop music is... In the toilet. Dwindling. It's in the toilet, right? Circling the drain, if you will. And I just didn't expect. I mean, it's like. People love ratchetness. The younger generation yeah. loves ratchetness. And at the end of the day, the younger generation is the future. Yeah. So. They want ratchet. They want ratchet. That's what they want. I mean, get. and then I forgot the name of the song, but the song is awful, right? And, but That's the, the name of the song was awful. No, nah, the song is awful. Oh, okay. It, 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 it's something about hoes. That's all I know. But anyway, I, I watched the video as much of it as I could stomach, right? And the problem that I really have with it is that it sounds like a lot of the other stuff that's out right now. And she's embracing the worst of what being black is. Like, and that's what's disturbing to me about it. Because then I read an article with... Um, I can't think of the name of it. I don't know. I read an article online. I think of the name of the paper in a little while. But, like, she has taken the things that are negative that we as black people try and fight against and glorify them in all of her whiteness. Yeah. Like. It's I, almost like, are we going to enjoy? Because really, to us, she looked like a fool. Yeah. But to them, they, they like that stuff. So... But, see, and this is the problem right here. This is why I, I can't feel believe like her mom. She she run all over her mom. You remember the Dr. Phil show? It don't matter. She got to have consent. Man, her mom see a way to get paid of off of all this foolishness. Mm -hmm. But, like, the problem that I got, and this is what's so frustrating to me, and this is where I think the generation gap is, um, like, this is all the stuff that we fight against that she's embodying you know what i mean and for, for us to fight so hard to not be these stereotypes and you come out embrace the stereotype as a white chick and you get love for that shit come on man <laughs> come on man like i fight i fight every day 
so the people don't see me as ignorant, uninformed. All the stuff that they put on black people. Olive Garden. It's a dead fight, man. Uh, uh, and I hate to say it like that. that. I, I'm not saying it in a negative connotation, but. Hi. <laughs> you still gonna have ignorant people. Yeah. No, that's in, greater just, than the. Well, I mean that. And I guess the people that that maybe got some sense, they just like I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Go on and act the fool over there. I'm gonna go and do what I do. You know what I'm saying over here. I don't know. I think I don't. I don't think it's it's a hopeless fight. It's not a hopeless fight, but or you got some fight. of those that are dead in their ways and they gon' act the way they gon' act. But uh, <laughs> it's okay. I, I'm gonna leave that. We gonna leave that up in the air because I know I, I shot this. I'm just, day. I'm just, I'm just sick and tired because you example after example after example. Yeah. And shit ain't gonna change, man. No, it I don't mean, seem like what, it is, it, what, does it? What, what does it take? I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna take the the, the community to come back together after, as the village. After it, it's gonna it's gonna it go back, it go back, it go back to the family. After example, it go back to your upbringing, and it go back to. But everybody you know, don't have the same upbringing. You with right. That. We don't, but we got to go back to where it used to be. But when? When? It keeps getting thrown in our face. When? Yeah. When? That's when? a legitimate question. I mean, I, I, okay. That's that's what frustrates me about. <laughs> and I've done a lot thinking this way, man. It, it, when? When is it going to change? When? Yeah, no, I, I I got it. Oh, Charlie is on with us. Hey, Charlie, I'm glad hey, you're safe. I'm glad you're on the show, man. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hey, Crystal. Um, hey, Rashid. Look. Regina, hey. Regina said that's just another tactic used to disrespect the black race. And I agree. Yeah. In, ter in terms it, of it is. Her goalie. But when? But it's, when it are we going to stand the black up? Race, however, it glorifies that that mentality or that attitude and the reason i say it glorifies it because it is entertainment so the other yeah. people out there and they always, that's, that just, are that's just it. entertainment that's just entertainment that's that's what it gets passed off as but if you know about mind control and the things they do in terms of mind control all of this stuff that they're doing Serves a purpose because if you see if you see certain images repeated over and over and over again, it sinks into your psyche. Anyway, okay, that's that's the first part of the what the fuck, Chuck. The second part of the what the fuck, Chuck, is I was looking online this week, and this made me mad because I've been hustling, I've been working, grinding for the wrong reasons, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all how we gonna get rich. Y'all ready? This is the what the fuck chip part two. Yeah. <laughs> this this is how we gonna yeah. get rich. They got something called white paintings. Y'all ever heard of them? Well, I go get my paintings white Paintings made out. by white people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, exactly. No, that, that's not it. Basically, a white painting is you get a canvas and you paint the canvas with white paint to add texture. And that's it. Like you go get some white out. And so I'm gonna have to get a black light to see what the fucking painting is. No, you, it's nothing. You can't even see it with it's the black nothing. Light it is. ain't nothing. A white painting is just that it's all white, but it just has some texture to it. What kind of texture? Like whatever the brush strokes make and oh, all that kind of stuff. So I can't throw cotton up, white cotton up there or something. I mean, you might throw it off a little bit, but hold up. This is this is the this is the killing part right here. The paintings go from ten thousand a piece, a piece, to twenty million dollars. Wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Man. <laughs> what the heck doing this? At? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I went, I so went I throw some white paint on the goddamn white background to just sell that bitch. Yes. Any, yes, any you can. Kind of way that I can, no matter what I do, it just gotta be white. 
Yeah. 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 It's gonna yeah. look like a fucking just white backdrop. Dude, okay, everybody that's watching right now, Google white paintings. By white people. <laughs> yeah, no, not by white people. Shit. <laughs> You're doing that shit, man. I'm Look, sorry, just man. Google white paintings. That's all, that's all I'm saying. No, Reese, we're see not it. investing. We are going to buy, we're going to go to Michael's and buy us some white canvases. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy me some white out, cause you know when you if you do white out right, it's gonna have some texture to that shit, man. They got the tape now. You can use that. The tape. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go get the tape, man. Mmm. Make me a good little quick ten thousand. You might make twenty million. I might make twenty million. Yeah, the trip, I, no, the people that pay for this bullshit. The, the bigger, the bigger, the more it costs. I don't think so. Like I was looking at, like one of them was like the this, a small square, and I was like, "What? The, maybe somebody pay? What? What? Like this, yeah, yeah, this, go. this one chick was on there. She said she painted one, and she got two million dollars for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm retiring. I'm leaving this damn country in two <laughs> two million dollars. I'm gone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go try that. I mean, what? Why not? Catch me outside. That's what too much of me. Catch me outside. Mm -mm. Make y'all white babies. Y'all let me know. That's crazy. I sure. Look, if I get two million square, I'll give you a hundred thousand of it. That way, you know. You, 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 I'm going to say crazy. no. I know. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. Yeah, that, that take a hundred thousand of shit. That's going to take a lot of shit. Hell yeah. Yes, it will. I'm going to get mad. This nigga got uh, two million and shit. That nigga ain't give me a hundred thousand. Complain for <laughs> I did all the work. I made the white painting. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much it for the what the fuck, Chuck. All right, so as y'all know, we're still doing the giveaway. We're gonna give away next weekend, right? Next weekend, uh, I guess during the show, we're gonna make a decision. Um, but we got a fifteen dollar Walmart gift card for anybody that comes up with the best topic for the show or yeah the best topic that we feel like for that the we show we have not done before yeah that we have not done before man um, please come on y'all so far we got four different topics that people have submitted and Mickey submitted an article that I still haven't read don't say nothing to Mickey um Mickey Chuck did not read the article that you sent to him I'll read it though. You guys sent it to me. I told you that last time. Y'all remember the Stop Snitching campaign? <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who these came from, but um, one of the titles for, or one of the topics was Comfortable in Captivity. Okay. I guess that's, you know, for us black before. people. Uh, we haven't done it though. Yeah, yeah I didn't. That wasn't the first thing that came to my head, but yeah. okay, yeah, you need to specify. Please, can you make he, it? he went straight to bondage. Y'all hear that? Not just straight bondage, but he he got got it, got captivity. it could have been prison of war type shit. I don't uh, know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cl cl clean it up now. <laughs> Go cowboy. If you like being caged up and shit with chains on. That's a question about you, but go ahead with the next. Okay, one. yeah, the next we way under. All right, the next one in. is yeah, comfortable <laughs> captivity. That's the first one. The second one is why whining, crying, and marching about injustice won't change your circumstance, and why we are insane to continue to do so. Mm. It goes back to why I said when, but okay. I mean, but. I'm on the boat where we gotta hit them in the pocket. When? Definitely. Definitely. When? Oh, Somebody made but, a comment. But people on. preach it, but yeah. when? No, Look, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. We see it. Let me say this. We see. We see an example of that. Now I was gonna save it, but I gotta talk about it. There was a 12 percent drop in the NFL ratings and viewers from the first game last year to the first game this year. Look here, man. 12% is a lot. 
I understand these people protesting, but I would still watch the goddamn football. Hey, fuck the NFL. I ain't watching no NFL games. Especially after a homeboy well, why won't, got why, caught up. Why, he, why, I why want to hear the full so story. So why won't the players there. boycott? Because they already get know. paid. And they getting paid. But if, Man, if you the, really want to protest, they hit them in the pockets, let them boy. But what I don't understand is how, what's the buddy that just got caught up with the police? They said he was running from the police. They heard shots fired. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the coach came out and Mark, said, we Michael support Bennett's him, speaking. we support, you know what I'm no, saying? No, we, they, we they behind him or whatever. They wanted to change the shit. They wanted the NFL to motherfucking investigate him on some shit. The NFL said, we're not doing that. So, it goes back to when. <laughs> I, like I mean, but I don't understand how this incident right here. It was in Las Vegas after the fight. Shots rang out, motherfuckers gonna run like we do. Mm-hmm. But they you're supposed they, to run, you yeah, get shots. But they saw him; he was hiding behind something, and they got him. Then they re- after all the undue frisking and, like he said, the gun in the back of his head, they figured out, oh shit, this Michael Bennett. When they ran yeah. this shit. Mm. So hold up Are you saying that makes it okay No I'm not saying it makes it okay They had no probable cause To get that man I mean shots were fired But how come he can be supported And Colin Kaepernick can't Because these motherfuckers are stupid Because they're hmm? I don't, that's They're what I don't looking understand. They're looking at this and man. then how about when he came out with the statement saying he support Buddy, he should have been coming out with a statement man, that I support Colin Kaepernick. He, Somebody got to speak up. Colin Kaepernick was the guinea pig, man. He did it, but... It ain't right, but, though. It's not right. But what I'm trying to say is why why it's not... If you want to take it back and people want to get rah-rah and pissed off about them not kneeling, before 9-11... They did not come out to after the, yeah, the national there, anthem. there wasn't no national anthem that got played. That was brought to them. It don't matter. No, but I'm just saying. I understand what you're saying, and we talked about that but before. But they're looking matter. at him okay. and his Hold on, hold on, hold on, because we, we getting past the point. Like, the point is, there was a 12% drop in the ratings for the NFL for the first game of the season. If you want to talk about hitting them in the pockets, if you it used to, hold on, if you used to getting a hundred million dollars and that hundred million go down to ninety million, you feel it. Or if it go down to eighty-eight million, you feel it. If you used to get in a million, it go down to eight hundred eighty thousand, you feel it. So it's it's gonna have an effect. We just gotta put a sustained effort behind not me, watching the NFL. Let me put this spin on. It was going down last year because of these. Other, mm-hmm. other colored people, <laughs> other other people of different color. Mm-hmm. So. What you mean it was going down? The because of the protests. Oh because yeah, it was going down did. last year. So yeah. and I and I said the, so, other, the other day that it's not this protest or this going against the NFL is not going to be something that's going to happen overnight. So that's why I said it's a bigger demographic. Why are you going to protest? Because these white folks don't do it. They've been doing it. It's been dropping. I mean, just because they always been doing it don't mean I got to... Number one, I'm not going to support it. Like, that that's my thing right there. I'm not going to support them treating my brothers this way. Right? I don't care if it's Colin Kaepernick or who it is or however it's happened. I can't honestly give my support to an organization like that. And I can't contribute my time and my energy to any of that stuff, right? Don't get me wrong, I'm a Cowboys fan, I'm a Falcons fan, I'm a Titans fan. I, 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 I like, uh, what's his name, Beast Mode. I like Richard Sherman. I like a lot of stuff that happens in the NFL. However, I can't put any effort towards supporting an organization like that. For me, it's but, a personal choice. But they're still protesting. Hey, yeah, hey, it's hey, protesting hey, on my own. Hey, I mean, they are. I mean... I'm yeah. a diehard Cowboys fan. I'm, I mean, your boy got railroaded, but I'm wearing his jersey because he got his restraining order. <laughs> it's, I didn't know how deep we were going to get into a, a lot of stuff mm-hmm. but because I'm, the NFL upsets me too because of what they did. The day that he was going to get a restraining order, you were going to give Josh Brown the kicker of the Giants who on record with the police, beat the hell out of his wife. 
over 20 something times. Got one game suspension. But the day he gonna get this restraining order, oh, we're gonna give him an additional six games. We just we looked into it further. No. No, no, but no. You still supporting it though. It's the NFL. No, you still supporting it at the end Look, of the day. Okay, so I'm hold still on, supporting hold on, hold on. I can watch it, but I'm still gonna watch football regardless. But they I'm, did I'm watch boy college wrong. football, and I watch high school. Well, so I can't watch you know, pro, I can't watch pro stuff. I have a, I have a problem with that because if it was such a big deal, those guys getting paid. If they were doing their money right, they would protest. That would really hit them in the pockets. Yeah, that would hurt. But so, I, but hold on, My, the I, average I, consumer. I I, personally, I can't depend on somebody else protesting for me to make my make my stance. Understand. Right, I, I, from, I'm gonna stand up on my own too, and if y'all want to join later, that's cool. However, for me, I gotta do what I feel like is best for my conscience. All right. So anyway, didn't mean to get that deep in it. So we got the the, the, the three topics <laughs> so far. I'm the outcast of the goddamn group tonight, y'all. We got uh, comfortable in captivity. <laughs> Why whining, crying, and marching about injustice won't change the circumstances why we are insane to continue to do so. And the third topic is what can our generation do to be prepared for losing our parents? Ooh, I read that topic. I was like, dang, because you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm in my early 40s, and you know. I don't want me to answer that. You don't want me to answer that question. <laughs> man, hey, hold up. I got to shout out Alex McKell, and what up, big cuz? Uh, happy birthday to you, man. Happy birthday, Alex. When was his birthday? Today. Happy birthday, Alex. Happy How birthday, old Alex. are you? About 45? He's about 25. Alright, so anyway, um, basically, the topic would be dealing with your parents' mortality. I deal with that every day. They still living. Mm. You got to start learning about that because they're not gonna be here for help. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Uh, man, they ain't here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those. I mean, even if they ain't here now, but they ain't gonna be there. But you always gotta prepare yourself in the future or for your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how how are you gonna transition? Yes. To, to, yeah. Yeah. And Keita said she lost one you can never prepare for. It. All right, so those are three topics that we got so far for uh, the giveaway that we're going to do. We're going to decide one next week. So if you got a topic that you think we should do on the show, let us know. Um, we'll get to it. Or we'll, we'll debate about it and talk about it, and then whoever wins will give you this $15 gift card. All right, so all that being said... Um, we got some current events we gotta talk about. Uh, number one, I know y'all heard about DACA, the deferred. I don't. Basically, it's when the immigrants bring children to the United States. Our president, in six months, is saying that that program is going to go away. I.e., a bunch of young people can be deported from this country. I don't think it's going which happen. is. About eight hundred and eighty thousand is what they're saying. They have paid eleven point six billion in tax dollars a year. Yeah, I don't think it's. I, it's so crazy. I mean, what do you expect at this point coming from that man? But I don't think I really, really want to believe that our Congress um, has has better morals than, than this. Then it was like a story that came out and said two guys that were under that would be considered under the DACA um, drove like a hundred something miles to Florida. I mean, not to Florida, to Houston, to, to, Houston, to yeah. Texas, to help the flood victims, and they died yeah. trying to help people. So I mean, we, we, these I, people contribute to the U.S. in so many ways. You know what I'm saying? And if you really want to go there, hell, I'm undocumented. No, you was documented. You, you was just documented. paid for it, yeah. and you got a receipt instead of a. a Where's my receipt at? No. A birth certificate. You better go talk to Massa. But uh, uh, Massa, Massa don't want to. On, on, on the doctor, give it up. on the doctor. And I wish I had your optimism with Congress. I don't. I don't. I, I mean, I've seen since 
he came out and said that I've seen people, congressmen and all that, that we're glad that that's gone and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's hurting, but you, you really finna see it. Yeah. Man, okay, look. This is something that I've been wrestling with, saying and verbalizing it and really putting it out there. But I got to, in, in this case, I got to say it. And y'all can deal with it however you want to deal with it, right? But this is the honest to God truth in the way that I see it. People of color, i.e. black people, Hispanic people, Asian people, Native Americans, uh, Indians, Muslims, or Middle Eastern people, whoever they may be, this country hates you. Period. This country hates you. This country does not want to see you here. The system that's alive in this country does not want you here. And I think I know the reason why. I realized the reason why. A couple of weeks ago, I took a lady to the airport in Atlanta. She was a white lady. She claimed to work at V103 radio station down in Atlanta. Um, she claimed to have connections to the government or whatever, to like the mayor and all of that. And she was going to Seattle to a marijuana convention to learn how to open up a dispensary because she was saying that Georgia was about to be legalized because Florida was about to legalize. Mm -hmm. Once Florida does it, Georgia is going to follow behind. Well, anyway, all that to say is she was talking about this black um, lady. I can't remember her name, but she's running for governor of Georgia here soon she's a woman first of all and she's black and she was really like rooting for this lady and she was like you know Atlanta is ran by black people and she started naming all of these cities that were mostly ran by black people and as she was naming them I was like yeah you're right yeah you know what you're right like they have black mayors now now whether or not it's being ran the right way or whatever who knows but these are people that you go to their city they have a black mayor they have a you know what i'm saying they have black co whatever so the way that she was like like the way <laughs> <laughs> the way that she was like glorifying and like praising these cities, you know what I'm saying? It made me think that is why these white people are scared because they know that we have the ability to take over mm -hmm. and to take over and do it right. Look, all right, so this whole thing about DACA, I'm just gonna go back to that for a second and we're gonna move on because I didn't even I didn't say what I gotta say. Like, in a lot of ways, and I know this is going to sound contrary to what you've been hearing. In a lot of ways, I hope they put these people out just so we can watch and see what happens to the economy once we lose these billions of dollars, dollars that these people bring in for this economy every year, right? Because this, the, the people that are in power are so hell-bent on getting rid of everything that's not white. They don't understand that this country is not just white people. So, in a lot of ways, what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of things crash once you start getting rid of these folks. And, like, think about it. Name, nowadays, name a doctor that is Caucasian. It ain't a lot of them out there. Most doctors happen to be Arabic, they're Indian. They have, they're they're uh, African. They're people that come into this country. So, I mean, once you start putting all these people out, who's going who's gonna to fill these positions? Like, the the... Engineers, scientists, the people that work in uh, what you call the Silicon Valley, most of those people are not Caucasians. So, in a way, in a lot of ways, I hope that they see. I hope that this happens, just so this people can start waking up. Like, oh, we can't just do this on our own. Maybe they'll start respecting other people and other cultures a little bit more. All right. So, all that being what said. Effect on us. Because of that, you can, you can want them, you want them to, it wanted to happen, but the effect I think, us. too, when I heard that, the first thing I thought of was the first, this one step closer to war, whether it be with somebody outside well, the country. Well, it's already about to happen, man. You ain't got to worry about that. Your boy for the get y'all everything they want. All right, um, next story, I'm just going to touch on this. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all know, but... 
Nigeria has had severe flooding and over a hundred thousand people are now homeless in Nigeria because of the flooding that's going on over there. So um, I just wanted to acknowledge that, bring some light to that and you know, send our prayers and our love out to our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. Um, next story, we're gonna throw a little ratchet curve in here. Um, <laughs> And I, I, I but I, but I like this though. I, yeah, I like, like ratchet. Well, no, it's not it's not the ratchet factor that I like. But Fifty right. Cent, no, I promise, Fifty Cent is threatening to take star uh, power off of the Stars Network. He been doing that. No, I'm saying like he said that this last episode was the last he one been, that was gonna be on Stars. Yeah. Because he's saying that he doesn't get the publicity. Mm -hmm. The show doesn't get the publicity that it needs. That they don't get the advertising, you know, it's a lot of things. They don't get the money, but it's the highest rated show on Star. Yeah, I think Fifty is being real petty. I mean, shit, petty or not, if you can make more money somewhere else, and if you're not being treated right, why stay? Okay, I understand the treatment, but the the advertisement part, come on now, come on now. It's people that's done scratched off um, Empire. To watch power now. It's a, it's people where Wait, you think, they now they buy oh, stars. On. You think changing networks is gonna drop the viewership? If uh, if power yeah. is available over here and now I can go get it on BET, because that's what we're talking about going is the BET. You think less people gonna watch it on BET? I think he goes in. I, I think, think he'll he increase does that, the viewership. It's gonna change the storyline because now you're on BET. You're not on Stars. You're not on where you can fuck and you can say all this stuff. Well, Tommy can be Tommy. No, it's gonna change the storyline. That's similar to like uh, Nashville. I like Nashville. Anybody? And he used to be on what ABC, and they killed the main character off or whatever. And then they see you know they switched it over to another country music channel. Don't nobody watch it now. I don't even know. I don't like to watch it. But, okay. And the whole storyline switched up. What? It's Nashville. Nashville. I don't see. I don't. We, we, I see power. I power's movies. ratings dropping from going. I don't even but watch BT like that. First of all, and then second of all, it's going to definitely change the storyline because they can't if, do all that stuff. If on Fifty BT. Cent can maintain creative control, how you gonna maintain creative control with that? Come on, now, cuz. The same way he got creative control over the show now. No, how he gonna do that with all the scenes? If he's going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but hold on, they, yeah. get, they get away with a lot on, uh, what's no. it, Dean and Mary Come Jane. Come on now, no. no. It's, it's no. Not, not, not like what it's, they it's get not, away It's not as explicit no. as Power, but they do have... They do have sex scenes on. Um, yeah, but they. But they we talking yeah. about power getting raw, raw and raw. raw. You you didn't see uh, your boy. Come on uh, now. Soon to be yeah. his wife getting raw. Yeah, uh, now they do get a little steamy yeah. on Mary Jane, but not not, not like not, that. Uh, not like that. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope. Hey, that's gonna be the one thing that's gonna swing the ratings because we can't see the sex. Right. I don't know. I don't and then so. the killing, you see straight no, up killing. You, you, yeah. You see the killing with the blood and everywhere. That's not gonna. They not gonna no, do that on BT. Shit, they do it on uh, Fox and they do it He's on ABC. 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 Come on now, you giving them. You giving them too much. We give them they not gonna do that. Man. I think Fifty being petty, and if he just sit back and be quiet, they probably will be trying to. Cause he know he probably running his mouth, and they being petty like, okay, you keep running your mouth, we just gonna keep feeding you what we been feeding. But if he takes the highest rated show off their network. You don't think it'll be the highest yeah, rated show Netflix. elsewhere? Yeah, go to Netflix. Don't go to BT. That's what, that's no. what uh, Pee Wee just said. Go to Netflix or Hulu. Yeah. yeah. And Netflix is paying a lot of money yeah. for this. Yeah, thing. go to Netflix. Uh, he ain't going to have don't that go unless to he BT. go to Netflix. Yeah. You, but go to BT, I guarantee you finna lose it. You finna lose it. <laughs> Alright, so. They, like, okay, can I, can I spin it? Mm -hmm. on, our, on our show, what, what we watched with a girl, what's that, uh, what's her name? Insecure. Insecure. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know they they popped. She had us. She That's she was HBO. doing something and and popped off. Dude popped off in the face and they showed. Yeah, it. and that was that, that was shocking for HBO. Yeah, now they gonna be on BET no, and this a black chick too. Type shit. Right, <laughs> and, and her show is pretty popular. Yeah, 
they can't do that on Yeah, BT. you can't do that on BT. You ain't gonna show yeah, no pop they, off on your face. Well, ain't, they ain't really, the, the power ain't really about that either, though. But I'm just saying, like. Insecurity like, ain't about that either, and, either. And I don't think the sex scene necessarily make up what power is. Like, it don't make up what power is, but, but the graphics, you you're not gonna to get in that, you're not man. gonna get that same level on BET. You just not. But you do, you, do you agree you with 50? CSI <laughs> level. Do, you, do you agree with 50 that they aren't marketing the show, though? They and don't have to. They ain't got to. I they mean, got plenty of followers, okay. man. Just because you got followers don't and mean then, that you don't, and, you don't and try I, to stay and, in the And the marketing, reach. I can't go for that either because I got stars. And and before the they new series, it. they, they were marketing the shit out yeah, of it. Yeah, I see commercials and all that. I'm Especially sure. with, and I only watch power with Ghost being in jail, they were marketing the fuck out of it. I, so oh, no, I, 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 I don't know. I really watch regular TV, but it, it was on stars. It was. On, I don't watch regular TV either. Yeah, it was on it stars. It was out there. Time. It was commercials, man. Especially on name channels in between the movies. <laughs> okay, yeah. I've never seen this Matter of fact, that's how I started watching it because it was posted on Facebook as an advertisement. Not necessarily somebody watching it. It was an advertisement. Matter of fact, it's an advertisement on Instagram about power. So that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. And then if being anything, petty, yeah, you're being real petty. You got Netflix, not it. I mean, Instagram, you got free advertising. Like, he really being petty, if you ask me. Your girl Shonda Grimes finna go to Yeah, she uh, finna go to Netflix. Netflix. No, I don't blame her. Because they, they, trying, they trying to get over on her. Oh, yeah. She right. finna, she finna make all this shit wild. Okay? So, next story that I got is uh, congratulations to Rosalind Brewer. Who was a Spelman graduate that uh, is now the COO of Starbucks? Oh, congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations, Rosalind. She's the COO Brewer. of the entire company. We're gonna get a, get a yeah, Hennessy yeah. latte in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Can't take Rosalind. black folk nowhere. I'm playing Rosalind. It's gonna be that a can't be take nasty black folk no Canadian yeah. club yeah. cappuccino. Yeah. Seven. A Long Island. <laughs> Macchiato. A Long Island mocha. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was playing. I'm playing uh, big ups, yeah. All right, and this is the. Uh, this, this is this is the last thing that I wanted to do before we get into the topic. Um, like we just saw Hurricane Harvey hit. We see Hurricane Irma. Is wreaking havoc right now. Jose is coming next. Then there's another hurricane coming off the coast of Africa right now. Then we got wildfires in Oregon. We got the biggest earthquake ever recorded in Mexico. In Mexico. All within this last week, right? And my question is, what's really going on? What, are people are denying climate change. Is this? What is really going on? They say the government dropping. Do um, man, them niggas tripping, man. They dropping. Ain't nobody dropping, dropping charges and shit in the goddamn ocean <laughs> that will make that shit happen, man. I'm sorry. I've pain. heard the conspiracy <laughs> theories, man. You be seeing Look, big clouds man, and stuff. It, it, it take an old head to hang with me in one of these spots. And he said, it. he said the government and all these people drop little pellets and shit. They need to ask for atonement. <laughs> They didn't ask for what? Atonement. What's that? What did what did mean? Get right with God. <laughs> <laughs> they is right with God. They up there being nope. God. Nope. They need to they get say, right look, they with need God. To do it, cuz. Do it. What? <laughs> 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 anyway, look, I'm gonna tell I'm 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 gonna tell you why I I agree with Anton because if you look at the path of these hurricanes, it follows the exact path of the transatlantic slave trade. I said it today in Sunday school when I was teaching. If you watch where they leave from and where they go, it follows the exact path of the transatlantic slave these, slave trade. These people, the government. And he even said all these people they need to they need to ask for God for atonement. And I mm -hmm. looked at him, I said, You right. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, it it is in the Bible. Yeah. Um, history does repeat itself. Yeah, I we, do believe. We're in the days. Y'all in so, revelation right now. Yeah. 
I think we've been there for a minute, yeah, we've though. we've been there for a minute, but it's really going to show his head. I'll see your true colors the man shining it through. Yes, sir. I, it's the eclipse. Ain't that goddamn eclipse? The eclipse did it. It's revelation. Yep. Mm -hmm. But why y'all playing since the eclipse has been cool? Yeah, it has. And that eclipse, whatever happened, cooled everything cooled right on up. Everything down. Yep. Cause it got cool in the middle of the day and never warmed up. Mama named Clay. I'm gonna call him Clay. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all. Cause we might even wrap it up. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm looking. Um, yeah, we was gonna talk about the Willie List letter, but yeah, <laughs> Coco, you didn't make it. Man. <laughs> Coco won't talk about the Willie List. She ain't make it. Coco, <laughs> man, how long we been on? We been on for 45 minutes. Yeah. 45? No, nobody going there for about another 35, 45 minutes. Okay, so what we're gonna do, yeah, since you said we need to wrap it up, we go ahead and wrap it up since we talked about the current events got out of the way. Yeah, the current um, events you got, itself. You got, you got yeah. nigga of the week. Yeah, I did. Okay. Since y'all boycotting the goddamn NFL. <laughs> yeah. It's the, damn, it's boy, the motherfucking God, judge God, in God, Texas boy, that God. got my boy playing for the rest of the season. Yeah, I'm rocking my Zeke jersey. I don't care what they say over here. Who is your boy? I know he wore 21, but he won a cowboy life and he got drafted by the Falcons, man. But that's another story, man. Hey, Judge of Texas, appreciate you. How about them cowboys? We're going to get six. Hold up. Okay, explain. A judge in Texas. It's a federal judge. Okay. To rewind, when he oh. got brought up on these charges, it took over a year about him having domestic violence on this brawl that's not credible. When one of the investigators, the only investigator, recommended to the commissioner, you shouldn't suspend him and they gave him six games. Because under the new policy, after Ray Rice video came out that he beat the hell out of his wife, mm -hmm. automatic six game suspension. But because the story, it took over a year. That's number one. So the story's one. not credible, baby. Yeah, old chick was not credible. The person that interviewed her said she was not credible. Did you but because see the girl that, that they got the, they got the, um, I'm sorry, so to, the, got the, what's called a pregnant? She pregnant and carrying the baby. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, she looked like Usher girl. The one that gave, that gave the her. Not ham hocks. Yeah, hold she on, hold on, hold on, what? They got a surrogate mother or something? Yeah, so Kim Kardashian oh, and Kanye they got to have another baby, so they hired this girl. The girl looks like Ham Hops. the girl that's claiming that the herpes. Ham Hops. Yeah. It ain't her, but she looks like her. It might be. You never know. And the one that, well, they that, might be that said to Usher gave her herpes, but she didn't have she it. She don't have it. She, she tested negative. But she heard. Mm. That was right. my nigga of the week. They got me on ham hocks and shit, man. But yeah, <laughs> right on to the. Judge. I don't know how we took that turn. I made some ham hock soup. I had neck bones, man. Oh yeah. Look at the face. I don't give a damn about you looking like that. That shit show was, was good to me. <laughs> and Pinto B. And Squatch Casserole. <laughs> and some cornbread. Yeah, that shit was good to me. That's me. Oh, they like got cool. dollar ribs down at Moe's on Sundays in uh, downtown Chattanooga. Market Street, Broad Street, one of them. That's a white restaurant. They boil them. I don't want that shit. Oh, for real? I mean, white people boil they real. And they don't know how about smoking and shit unless they got to take it back they up. They boil real. I've seen the grill. You know, white folk boil they real, man. They don't. Yeah, fuck, you never know shame. that. Shame. Ah! Shame. Ah! Shame. You never know that. Hey, hey, real since 11 grade. Oh, I forgot so you got them, uh, them, uh, yeah. He's uh, a, um, I mean, uh, Muhammad. An anti pork eater. Yeah, I love but it. He eats. I had some bacon yesterday. Yeah. It shocked the hell out of my mama. I made myself he breakfast. Eat, he eat turkey sausage, but it's really pork sausage. No, wait a minute. I eat turkey. Turkey bacon. It don't even taste like turkey. It's not. I don't know what, what regular sausage tastes like. Why do they call it turkey if it don't taste like turkey? I mean, it's a different It cut. tastes like turkey. It, it tastes like sausages made out of turkey. It's a little bit more But it don't taste like turkey. Oh, man. Y'all going down different paths <laughs> on this shit, right? <laughs> Look. 
Yeah, but she don't want to taste it, so she don't know what it tastes uh, like. So don't taste it. Really it's artificial. Now, I've cut down on my pork real. intake, but I've always liked turkey bacon. It's when I started, I love turkey bacon. No, turkey bacon is awful. Okay. Turkey bacon is like yeah. cardboard. When your, when your artery starts to open, I'm like, oh, shit. It ain't never, ever going to do that, ever. Never say never. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, granny yeah. told me, my granny said, you was raised on me. Yeah. You gonna die. And I still eat South Beach and all that, but yeah, you gotta do yeah. it in moderation though, but you can't and just she eat. by 80 something years old, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, it was fine with them, but the way they make shit now, I don't know. They made the same way. I still no, it ain't made the same way. Look, hey, y'all go watch What the Hell. If y'all and and watch some sweat. Like Fuck that. Hell. I'm eating some sauce meat and cheese and crocs Turkey tonight. bacon tastes, Kita. Turkey bacon tastes like cardboard. No, it don't, man. What What kind of turkey bacon? Who Do you fry it like in the grease? In the, in the skillet. It makes its own grease just like bacon. No, it don't. And then it's like. Who the hell cooks some turkey bacon for you? Or you don't cook it just yeah. it makes its own grease. How, how, how long how long has you been since you had turkey bacon? You. When? How long has it been? Probably the first of the year. Oh damn! Well, you burned the turkey bacon. No. And he put it in the oven. And wait a minute, no. Nah, like I'm putting it. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. <laughs> now I'm doing it in the skillet, just like I'm doing bacon. I'm not baking it in the oven. So now, no. turkey is good, thing. but the, the turkey bacon, no, no, no don't make it. ain't real. Do it no, in the skillet just, just like you do bacon. Saying, saying, no, it's been like a two years. I'm not no, it has not. Oh, no. Lord. Yeah. No. I'm like, I'm getting y'all years. turkey bacon just because you're not going to take my turkey bacon. I love it. That's some cardboard. Yeah, that's that's what hamsters. You had baked turkey bacon. <laughs> I don't know about that shit. <laughs> she said, what the hamsters eat? <laughs> no, no, no! I don't like it. All you gotta do is watch what the hell. That's gonna change your yeah, whole perspective. Change, oh, change me. I done seen the, no. the things. I know about I the, the pork things. in the glass, yeah. put pork, coke in it, and watching the pork and what it do. No, they don't even talk about it. They talk well, about with the slaughterhouses. Yeah, I don't mean I grew up in one. Well, shit, you gonna die from some shit? Stops me still give it to me. <laughs> and baloney. <laughs> The only way I eat bologna is gotta be fried, like in black. Get it on some club fries with some cheddar cheese. But I tell you what, I do need to get me a spam. It's time for a spam. Spam, spam, spam egg and cheese. Now that shit right there is the shit they need to be watching. Spam? What the fuck is spam? (laughs) (laughs) It's turkey. (laughs) Ain't no goddamn turkey. That's that goddamn radioactive meat and shit from the pig. <laughs> Just been out there and got that wasp bar. We're going to make some spam out of that. Y'all move that boy. You should get shit. <laughs> hey. hey. Right. Say, oh, he said, hey, you eat spam too? No. Yeah, he eats spam. <laughs> I had spam once when I was little. Okay, never tell me this. Have you had, uh, What's the slime on spam? That's what I want to know. It's slime? Oh, that's yeah. yeah. the that's the See, it's that. No. No. Look. Oh, my God. Like, okay. that's the grease. No. That's what Now, going back to turkey. Now, I've had, I've had, turkey got slime on it, though. Who turkey? Yep. No, 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 no. I said going back to turkey. turkey. Yeah. Now, I've had spaghetti made with turkey. I've had it, too. Yeah, yeah, I've had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, how you down the goddamn turkey? But you can still tell it tastes different. Oh, no, I can't. My dad can't, because that's the nigga of the house. I and can't. my mom like, he don't know. Don't tell him. He <laughs> the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> so, I know you can't taste the difference. If you know how to cook. I do. If you know yeah. how to cook. I know how to fix it up the way it right. is, but you can still taste it. Yeah, the as long as that nigga don't know. So, I want my question answered. What is the slime that's in the slime? I just told you. That's that like radioactivity from Watts Bar. <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it's that shit. It is in the goddamn aluminum can. <laughs> with the, that's the only shit. Still in an aluminum can with the twist shit and the rolling back. No. Besides sardines. Sardines still got it's like sardines, that. Sardines, man. But, no, but. Because they got eyes. Yeah, I don't fuck with sardines. Ugh. I was going to say, oof. No. But look. Yeah, yeah spam. You got to roll. No, fuck that. I ain't packaging that shit. I don't shit, want though. nothing that's going to look at it. It is all gel and jello y looking yeah, and shit. Yeah, that's the fat. That's what. You know. That's what you say. <laughs> I that's that I shit. Ain't gone yet. I'm that's still the shit. Yeah, you go on and get that new spam. They, go, hey, you ass, boy, boy, boy. they got jalapeno 
Ghost Rider. Yep. So they got jalapeno shit, they got cheese shit. That's not shit. That shit probably eats your stomach walls. <laughs> <laughs> Spam is eating you yeah. while you eat me. Hell no. That's worse than a wholesome. We gotta go. Right That's worse than a wholesome. Shit is spam. What you eat, you just stuck walls and shit, not stress in the damn future. You damn right. That's worse than a wholesome. Man, this spam sandwich was a night. You'll see God. Oh, I'm a stomach. Uh, and no her, she put basketball yeah. was right behind yeah. her. Oh, yeah. that shit gonna run out your motherfucking ass <laughs> like no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That's that splash shit. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute, get out of the way. Get the, way. Get the Move, fuck out of my face, Stanley. <laughs> That's that kind of shit. Oh, <laughs> I ain't good ice cream to eat that spam. Your ass will be all down, all down. Oh, damn. <laughs> that, that's when you can't get your pants down. That's the bad shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> fucking with you. You won't come over now. Oh, shit. And that shit right there at the bottom. And the lip. Talk about the, oh, shit. <laughs> The head peeking, yeah, the head peeking, 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 I'm coming. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I'm finna go. Every <laughs> time you try and get a oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> oh man, no. oh my god, y'all got shout outs y'all want to do. RGB, that nigga tried to get me out the house all day. That nigga was whining because I wouldn't. He would grab my finger and take me to the kitchen because I wouldn't go nowhere. Oh, oh, he, nigga, no. Oh, he wanted you. You should have brought him on him. Man, look, I had to fight and make that nigga go to sleep because he went to sleep in church. This nigga like waking up at seven thirty, mm -hmm. which is not conducive to daddy. Seven thirty is not in my goddamn vocabulary <laughs> on Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> Uh -huh. And he yeah. wide away and wanna yeah. talk, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I love it. That nigga, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Shout out to them two and helmets. Helmets. <laughs> Cause Irma you don't is need coming. Them in Irma. Irma is coming. But that's tornadoes though. Oh. Two helmets working a hurricane. But but no, we're, we're saved. But you know what they said? We're saved. From potential tornadoes because of the the temperature. If it was warmer, like it normally is in September, yeah, yeah you would have to worry about 2011 Thank happening again. Thank goodness the eclipse shit. came. If it wouldn't have came, we okay, would Queen, you Okay, Queen, you up there and got down sunbathing in the eclipse, didn't you? <laughs> what you got? Were you up there and got down uh, in the county with them white people that were naked? In the damn when the eclipse came, man, my co-workers had some people talking about they were getting naked in the field. What? Yeah, like, like got that Woodstock, they were getting naked. The old motherfuckers, man. I guess they were fucking and having the orgy. I, I definitely didn't want to see was, that. That made me think of goddamn uh, 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 Independence Day, the first one, when they were standing on, hey, come on, yeah, glimpse. It's so pretty. Yeah, then got your ass fucked up. <laughs> Zoom. All right, so uh, last, my line, my shout out, uh, shout out to Felica Cotton uh, for helping me rearrange the city. Felica here. Cotton. Uh, shout out to the cousin Alex McKenzie. I mean Alex McKellen. I'm sorry. Uh, his birthday is today. Uh, Happy birthday, cuz. See you at Murder Beach. Yeah, if I can get the money together. Oh, um, shout out. Oh, You can't. Shout out to Charlie. We hope you say. But I'm, the storms better be gone when on the second. Oh, Y'all pray them storms no be gone on the second. No Just pray. Can. I mean, two or more to agree that the storms will be gone on the second. I mean, it ain't great. about the storm being gone. What you gonna go down to see, bro? Yeah, I don't care what I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be gone outside of Chattanooga. Man, Tennessee. you don't wanna see no rubble in the goddamn <laughs> destroyed. Well, you you can get fucked up at that motherfucking good time house, but Irma uh, and, yeah. and, and uh, the other one got it. So you just gonna look at it? Yeah. I'm they might not have no. I'm gonna be on the boat. They anyway. might not have no shit. You got a dock. Yeah. 
You gonna get that? Uh, you got any sham? Oh, goddamn, Irma took everything, man. He ain't got no smoke and nothing. <laughs> Your ass going down there and be like, God damn, what the fuck? I bring my ass down. It's bro. not Irie. It's not Irie. I smoke in this goddamn ground dirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shout out to Charlie. I'm sorry, Charlie. I didn't mean to mess up your shout out. Uh, we'll and that's safe. that's pretty much it, man. We thank y'all yeah, for watching. Yeah, we come to apologize in front of the camera. I don't know what the hell going on. I don't on know right what now. just went on with that. Yeah, hey, come I'm on, trying on to get the Coco. Coco is queen. Queen, you turn black. Get a little smaller. Hey, there go, D. It's me. New queen. What's yeah, up? Yeah, the new queen. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't got no food in my mouth. You she got black, ain't she? Yeah, she is. And the queen is gone. All right, so we out, y'all. We appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all be safe out there. Everybody in Georgia, Florida, uh, lower Alabama. It's getting dark here there. now. They done closed schools in Georgia and Dalton and all that. Yeah. Because it's moving rapidly. Please be safe, y'all, because these winds and rain ain't going to be no joke. Yeah, 60 mile an hour winds is a little, that's fast. Yeah. We just watched a video or heard a video. Make sure your insurance you. paid up on your cars, your house. Something. Make sure you Look got. Who got ahead of the, the whole camera? Yeah. The water. Make sure you got water insurance and um, water insurance, carpet insurance. The fuck is water insurance? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure you gonna have some yeah, water. Yeah, you don't need no roscado, no bowl. No. The water insurance. You gotta make sure you got some water. Yeah. Cause you know they run out of water. Where they do that? Yeah, watch them down there. They run out of water. Tell me they got no water. I don't know. Uh, you got so water insurance. So they're gonna show you to get you a, a case of bottled water. Yeah. All right, Queen. Yeah, we gonna take that bottle away from you. That sound like a good business while y'all playing. <laughs> I'm not fucking No, no, how they scamming these people and selling bottled water and get it free and sell it to them for $90. Nah. Oh what? Yeah, 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 but yeah, these Ooh. motherfuckers are uh, <laughs> a pariah. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. <laughs> Briscato. Uh so hold on, she on her knees and I almost fell. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to boy to me and you on bending me, ain't you? Until you come back. I got me too. Come on now, wrap it up, wrap it up. Bye y'all. Wrap it up, B. <laughs> we were trying, but you start crawling to the camera like Robber Room. Thank you, Tina, I see, for watching. Uh, Thank Shakala you, Regula. and uh, Mimi and, and Lil Tyrone. <laughs> and TT. Yeah, and TT. <laughs> and Meet Me. <laughs> Thank you, Reginald Bond. I don't know you. Oh, yeah, but that's going to be a uh, and, and shout out to our boy that's going to have us on Satellite Radio. We got to get that out to him this weekend. Yeah, this weekend. Yeah. On the 16th. I don't know how that's going to go because we can really speak our minds. Oh, we can still do the same thing. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting. But he, they comedian, so we going to blend right Oh, it's going to be right on. I got to make sure I holler at you for <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you know, we got a two-hour ride. Yeah. Man. Y'all man, you do what you do on your way. She had man, I got this dirt for your man. <laughs> <laughs> she had this ground dirt. You get you high. Alright, you hit the button? No. Are we off? No! <laughs> no, we've been rolling the whole time, Doc, since she been in front of the camera. Uh, peace out to our party people. It's another week. Get it on, get your grind in. It's a longer week because it ain't a short week. Man. Let's do it. Don't hit it, yeah. Uh. <laughs>